Mali, and Ethiopia. In West Africa, the Mali Empire grew powerful by controlling the gold trade. In the east, the Christian Empire of Ethiopia was isolated by the spread of Islam. In 1240, Sundiata Kieta, the ruler of the small Malinke kingdom in West Africa, brought about the collapse of the nation of Ghana and established a new nation called Mali. He set up a well-organized state that possessed fertile farmlands beside the Niger River. Under Sundiata's rule, Mali controlled the gold trade and became rich and powerful. Many of the camel caravan routes across the Sahara Desert led to Mali's fine cities such as Kumbi, Saleh, Djeni, and Timbuktu. Mali's trading cities exported ivory, gold, and slaves to the Muslim Empire and to Venice and Genoa in Europe. In exchange, they imported salt, cloth, ceramics, glass, horses, and luxuries. Timbuktu and Djeni became centers of learning where Muslims mingled with Africans. Timbuktu had a university and a hundred schools. Mali reached the height of power and also became Muslim under Sundiata's grandson, Mansa Musa. He made a pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324, taking 500 slaves and 90 camels loaded with gold. In 1325, Mali overpowered Songhai lower down the Niger River, but in 1464, Songhai's ruler declared independence. Mali's decline began in 1350, and by 1500, it had been conquered by Songhai. The Founding of Ethiopia In East Africa, the old nation of Aksum had collapsed around 1000. Ethiopia, known then as Abyssinia, was founded by the Jewish Zagwe dynasty around 1137. Most Ethiopians practiced Coptic Christianity. Their church was cut off by the spread of Islam, but there was contact with Christianity through an Ethiopian monastery in Jerusalem. Lalibela became emperor in 1190, moved from the capital from Aksum, and built a new one at the holy city of Roja, later renamed Lalibela in his honor. In 1270, Yakuno Amlak founded the Solomonic dynasty and claimed descent from Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Ethiopia expanded its borders into the mountains of East Africa, taking in many tribes. It was a unique country, untouched by others at that time, isolated from the rest of the world by its mountain location. However, having been at its strongest during the 1300s and 1400s, it was plagued by internal discord in the 1500s. In medieval Europe, Ethiopia was regarded as a mysterious Christian kingdom with a mythical king named Prester John. The very last emperor of Ethiopia, Haile Selassie, who ruled from 1930 to 1974, was a descendant of Yeguno.